has a good smile mouth. like a water temperature is 51. Came out here actually just to see if I could crappy fish a little bit. Uh, and having just a little bit of success, I'm shooting a few docks and uh, and uh, just fixed a big tree and caught a couple and some good bluegill. Sucking for something to put on the table. Rub them down. Crappy. God, I'm gonna spill crappy boys. Pretty tickled because I found a way, but the, I got a fish finder. Short. Thank on it. He's short, but I found him with my fish finder.
number two short. Catch them on a road runner with a Bobby Garland. There's a keeper. That's a good one out there. That's a little F1. Little bitty bass. Little bitty one.
Jordy. Hey guys, I am off the water. Uh, I didn't do uh, much of an intro this morning. What you've uh, heard me say in the boat was probably all the intro that there was. And uh, to be honest with you, I can't even remember what I said. But anyway, uh, came out today, Fish Boone Lake uh, in Upper Northeast Tennessee. Uh, was wanting to go to the spot I've been catching crappy at and they have lowered the lake so much I could not get in on that ramp. So I came to another ramp that uh, I knew was accessible and put in there and fished a couple of, well, fished a marina a little bit and didn't do any good. Uh, did some dock shooting, but uh, found uh, a couple trees down in the water submerged in the uh, uh, one was in about 35 foot of water and then uh, another was uh, probably in 25 and ended up catching uh, three big bluegill uh, and one keeper crappy which I'm gonna I'm gonna blade those and then uh, had two more smaller crappy that weren't keepers uh, off the tree that was in 25 foot of water. Had a bunch more hits. Uh, I just couldn't get a hook in them. I think there was probably more bluegill down there than there was crappy. Uh, caught four largemouth, I guess. Uh, they were all small. One on a, a Alabama rig and three more on that little Bobby Garland crappy jig I was throwing. Um, that's sort of crazy, but uh, I did catch them on that uh, uh, little Bobby Garland. I think they were, I think they were F1 strain largemouth. They were small, and I know they put 75,000 of those things in Boone probably two months ago, if that. And uh, I believe that's what they were. They they look, didn't look really look like a largemouth as much as. Uh, a large mouth that we see around here. They had the more defined lateral line. But anyway, I hooked up one big small mouth on that Bobby Garland, little old 132nd ounce Bobby Garland crappy jig uh, on a point coming out of a brush pile. Uh, about jerked the rod out of my hands. I didn't get him landed, but uh, he come off right at the kayak, but he looked like he was probably he probably looked like he was 15 or so. Might have been a little bit bigger. But I uh, had a good day, a lot of fun, through uh, uh, rock crawler in Demon and didn't have any hits. Through that umbrella rig and had a few bites on it. Uh, Bobby Garland, crappy jig, and 132nd. And when I was fishing that, tree that was 35 foot deep I was I put an eighth ounce on to get it down there so we sort of caught more probably ended up with about eight or nine fish today which was good for that lake uh, for me but just spent a lot of time trying to get really comfortable in that Hobie which I'm falling in love with in the lake and also getting comfortable with my electronics, trying to figure out. I've always struggled with electronics, fish finders, not knowing what I'm seeing on the screen, not understanding what I'm seeing on the screen, uh, not knowing how to set the settings uh, to get the best picture, and been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, fish the moment, man, if you if you never watched Fish the Moment on YouTube. The guy is phenomenal with uh, making YouTube videos about electronics and he covers Hummingbird, Garmin, and Lowrance. Uh, I bought a Lowrance HDS Carbon. It's a nine inch screen. It's got a side scan down view. It's got regular sonar, three in one transducer, it is pretty daggone awesome. Uh, I found that tree in 35 foot of water and it looked like, those fish looked like uh, Chris
Christmas tree lights in that tree. So, pretty proud of myself trying to, uh, well, finally learning a little bit about electronics and actually catching fish off of a tree that I found and uh, saw fish. So, pretty excited about that. Maybe it'll open up a lot of doors for me that have been closed for a long, long time, especially lake fishing. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, appreciate you guys helping me grow the channel. I, I know uh, I know you probably get inundated with videos sometimes, but to grow it, you have to put the content out so it'll be seen. And I, I hope you guys understand that. But uh, hey, thanks for watching and hope to see you on the water.